Hi folks, and welcome back to the Trek Collector. This time, it's been a while guys, hasn't it? Well, this time, uh, something interesting arrived on my doorstep this morning. This is the Eagle Moss, the large TOS Enterprise, which is a great uh, addition to the collection, I might add. Uh, fair play to Ben Robinson and all the guys uh, that work on the Star Trek official Starship collection for bringing us this one. This is an 11 inch scale model. Uh, die cast which is fairly fairly cool so there was one um question that i seen popping up a uh, debate with there's a great great facebook site uh, for anyone that's interested in the starship official starship collection from eagle moss and it's called eagle moss star trek starships magazine fan group and the debate was coming in about the price of this model and people were saying about buying the diamond select for that price because it has lights so i have four of them here at the moment and um, as you can see on this side we have the uh, standard eagle moss model that came with the collection uh, magazine 50 as far as i remember so on now we've got the jumbo d or the jumbo tos um, and we've also got a corgi over here and we've got the diamond select so let's have a look and see which compares better uh, or give you guys a chance to kind of anyone that's sitting on the fence to take a look and see which one you just wants to add to your collection so this is her unfortunately a bit of smudging there which is kind of like a, a little bit of a letdown so i must contact them about a replacement unfortunately also my deflector dish is hanging on by a thread so i have to be very very careful as you can see my deflector dish was arrived a little bit damaged so Let's have a look. Now, a known issue with this model is uh, an alignment issue with the paint application going on for the windows. So let's have a quick look at this. So here we go. There is the indentation for the windows. And unfortunately, the white paint has ended up above them. Now, if you display it back, it's not that noticeable, but it is kind of like a bit of a, a gripe. But that is a known problem with this model, unfortunately. The seams bit pronounced unfortunately and another bit of an eyesore there okay but otherwise than that they have done a good job on this and I'm quite happy the color to me of the hull looks fairly spot on they went with the smooth hull which is nice and we'll take a look at the the buzzards very hard to to kind of replicate for the TOS Enterprise, I have to say. Um, but let's have a look at the, the grills in at the, the warp. So there's great detail in here, guys, I have to say. It's going to focus on the NCC 170. Yeah, can't get into focus here. Sorry, guys. There you go. Fantastic detail in here. Unfortunately, one thing that I did not was that kind of bit of detail around the shuttle bay, which is unfortunate. But again, though, if we look closely at the shuttle bay, they've done a good job on it. All nice there. Um, overall, though, she is a very nice die-cast ship to add to the collection. Now, as I said, let's have a look, quick look at the Corgi. So the Corgi is smaller. This was came out for the 40th anniversary. So again, we can see the difference in the paint colour here. This is white. Um, unfortunately, it's the wrong colour. But they went kind of this luminous glow on the buzzards, which I can understand, just to try and make it look as though she is in flight. And um, they coloured in the grey parts here. Overall, a nice die cast model. That's their seam line there. They kind of did a better job here, I have to say, with the whole. Now, unfortunately, that part does come off mine at the moment, but no harm. It can go easily back on. Um, deflector dish. Mm, I don't know if the, the colour right on this one. Uh, but as I said, might have been cooler if they could have done that with the Eagle Moss. But in fairness, you don't have this kind of a grill then for the nacelles, which is nice and smooth. So kind of each model has their own ups and downs. The impulse drive there. Okay. But the main one, that people are trying to compare this with or to go out and buy is this fella 
Now, this is the HD model of this kit. I know it was re issued i believe last year sometime as well and they've added a little sound feature onto it i was told by uh another collector so let's try it out with the lights on first actually we'll just do a quick little look so they went with the grid pattern on the primary hull and the rust ring which is this fella here um painting apps seem to have gone in correctly I'll just check underneath now there's a few smudges on this one here there we go again okay but again quite nice detailing now remember this kit is plastic bit of a downturn these screw plugs could be a little bit more flush they do have the little kind of numbering that's on the hull that we can see in the original episodes and um, again to the battery compartment unfortunately has to be there but again seam lines not so great and then unfortunately again around the nacelles lots of seam work but the added detail in here of the lights at the back on the shuttle bay which would have been nice in the eagle moss ship but let's and um, detail then in there on the nacelles so let's put this on Now here's the feature if you hold down the button on the newer Diamond Select models. They reissued the NX01 just last year. And if you hold in the button you can also have the lights running that stay on. And you also have bridge sounds which is kind of funky and cool. And I do believe Diamond Select have done another version of this that has that feature. So I must be on the lookout for that one. But this is largely plastic and it is larger. Okay, so we're going to take the two up to compare. So, but there's more accuracy in this one, I, I, I feel anyway. But again, it's kind of down to your own decision here whether you want to ship with lights or you want to ship that just displays well. The stand with the Diamond Select is finicky um, and not great, but in fairness, they've improved on the stands. They're more, more sturdy, they don't break as easy as they used to. But there you go guys it's kind of one of them that you just have to kind of pick and choose between yourself Um, overall i'm happy with both but if you were to pick one which would you pick Um, that's the question i know some of you are asking um yes um the eagle moss one is retailing for around 50 pounds sterling um the Diamond Select one, when it came out, and if it's still available, it's $60, and Eagle Moss are looking for $75 for that one. So there's $15 difference. I think when you work kind of out the dollars to pound at the moment, it's about $47.73 for $60, and Eagle Moss are looking for 50 So very, very close. Just bear in mind, guys, that what you call it, Eagle, Diamond Select do tend to reissue kits every now and again. So don't, you know, get sucked into paying a large amount of money for one of the Diamond Select models. I do know that they are reissuing the Enterprise D later this year. So for any of you guys that haven't got the D, you might want to be holding on and waiting for that. Whether they upgrade the lighting kit is another situation on it. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Um sometimes they do sometimes they don't so just be careful with that guys um you do get the funky magazine as always and unfortunately there's not too much um concept artwork which is one of my favorite parts so we just a little bit of matt jeffrey's work here but there is one cool little bit in here matt jeffrey's did a model of how the sound stage should look when they're filming the tos and uh, when they were filming the show so if you look closely you can see the transporter room you can see one of the conference rooms um, you can see someone's quarters you can see the bridge um, you can see sick bay and the engineering 
is over here, which is fairly, fairly cool. So, kind of nice to kind of see something like that. So, there you go, guys. So, what I'd like you to do, guys, in the comment section below is tell me which ship do you think is better or which ship would you buy? Um, for me, it's a hard call because both are different and both have their own unique qualities. I think the Eagle Moss one is more accurate, apart from some poorly applied uh, paint uh, but the colour seems correct and there's a lot of detail in it it's, it's quite nice the Diamond Select one as well they have upped their game colour mightn't be as correct towards the studio model but at the same time is it is a good kit and it, it's larger and it does have lights so it's really a hard tough one um, I'm just delighted to have the two of them in my collection um, so, but if you were to pick one tell me which one you'd pick also, please subscribe to the channel where we'll always be bringing you updates on any kind of Star Trek models or bits and pieces that do come along or kits. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, it's been a while. And for all my fans out there that have been tuning in for over the last year, uh, thank you very much. And I hope to see you soon with another review. Until then, take care, guys. And slong a fall.